Hey, welcome to another Big Yakker video. Here I am on my kayak once again, heading out to my favorite location, probably because it's close to my house, but hey, it's my favorite location nonetheless, and today proved to be pretty fruitful. As you can see as we zoom in, uh, tons of birds working out in this location. They start out a little bit further and they kind of work their way in toward the shore, but wow. I go out and chase them and just once like I get that. there, they're kind of dispersed. But as you'll see underneath on the depth finder, there still is a ton of fish, and um, I catch a bunch here on this trip. So I hope you enjoy. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, and always leave a comment. Good marks, good marks. As you can see on the depth finder, uh, got some fish down there. Good marks. Another two casts, and uh, I link up to my first fish of the day. This is pretty close to real time. Uh, it took me about 15 minutes to get out there. Um, and then once I got out there, when I say real time, it's, it, it, it took me probably a total of 20 minutes to, to get out there and, and catch my link up to my first fish. And then the rest of the day, it was every two or three casts, four casts, I'd catch a fish, which was nice. Oh, Here's my first one. Finally. Again, using the yeah, half ounce good. jig head, um, back switch back to the five ounce swim shad, which was um, a change from my previous video where I was using the paddle tail, kind of shortened it up a little bit. Uh, but this day was really, really good fishing, so I stayed with the big swim shad, hopefully trying to catch some bigger fish. A little schooly, nothing too big. This fish here is probably about like 14 inches maybe. Something, right? Good little fight, good first fish. Got the skunk out of the boat, which opened me up to a bunch more fishing. Tiny, tiny schooly, tiny schooly. So yeah, now I'm turned back towards the my launch site. So the, the fish were literally all around me. Birds kept moving from spot to spot and I just kind of had to chase them down. Didn't really troll too much. I did it here a little bit just to get to the spot, but once I got to the spot I had to reel it back in and then cast into the uh, to the birds, let it drop a little bit. I noticed when I let it drop I would have more luck getting bigger fish. The smaller ones seemed to be up top chasing and the bigger fish were down below. Luckily, I didn't catch any birds this trip. Jeez, being frenzy over here. There we go. And as you can tell with the bend in the rod here, it's a much bigger fish than that first one. As always with all my videos, I will put a link to the description of the gear that I used to include kayak and fish finder. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Yeah, this was a 21. As you notice on the front of my kayak, I don't have my fishing bag or my cooler bag, so I did not keep any on this trip. I could have kept this one. As we know, the regulation here is 19 inches. And like I said, this one was about 21 inches long. I did measure it about 21, 20, 22 inches long. Let's go with this. Oh, that's 21 right there. Well, there you go. So there's enough action. There was so much fish today, there was no point in, in keeping a fish so quickly in the trip, even if I was going to keep a fish for this trip. I just enjoyed being out there and the bite was phenomenal. I say it every fishing trip, but this really was probably one of the best trips with all the birds working and everything else. It was. The 
begin to actually calm down from when I first went out as well. Started out probably about 10, 10 miles an hour. I think we're here about four miles an hour or less. It, it was gorgeous. And as the day went on, it just got better and better with the wind. Water just got really nice and glassy. Doesn't get any better than this. This is probably as close as I got to the birds in the water. I tried to stay back a little bit and just cast into them. I didn't want to scare them. As you saw on the right, there's a boat over there. Uh, I didn't see him catching very much. He was doing a little bit of trolling. Didn't see much casting going on, and I didn't see him bringing any fish in the boat. So I'm not sure what they were using for a lure. But um, I mean, I seem to be having a lot of luck. I'm not sure what the difference was. It's another small one. Smally. Towards the end of this trip, actually, I did Smally. a lot of jigging and I caught about four, probably four keepers at a minimum uh, with the jig, but my GoPro shut off and I think the battery died, so I didn't capture all those. And I just stayed with this setup pretty much the entire time. So I think you'll see two more fish here being caught. Uh, just wanted to thank you guys for taking the time to watch the video. Um, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get as many subscribers as I can. Share it with friends, family, relatives, whoever. Um, subscribe to the channel as you saw in the beginning. I have a new sticker I made, or actually my wife made the sticker. And if you're interested in one of those, please make sure to subscribe and then uh, send me a private message and I'll get one out to you. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, feel free to leave a comment. Too small. And thanks again for watching. Mm. Too small, but a good fight. A good fight, thanks. Small though. Tiny. I think. It's deep. Come